Okay, so this week we're diving into top 10 trauma movies now. This doesn't have to be a movie that trauma produced and made themselves. As, as long as trauma released it, I'm counting it. And as a result, there's a few things here that I've only got on Blu-ray from another company because when they came out and I got them, I got rid of the DVDs that were trauma DVDs. So that's the ruse there. And let's start off with number 10, the very expensive and very limited, uh, it's Combat Shock, which... It's one of the more trippy movies you'll find in the Trauma Library. As you see, I've got this wonderful collector's edition from Severn Films. But I wasn't sure what to expect when I first bought that on DVD a long time ago. I had the Trauma Masterpiece Collection version. But it's solid. And if you like kind of a little bit of a David Lynchian type feel for a gritty film, then there you go. Number nine, a newer Trauma film, The Nobodies. A movie slash documentary that is, a, well, it's a movie in a movie because... The whole movie is like this documentary about this guy that kind of went crazy after his movie come out and flopped. Throughout the movie, you see scenes from the movie. It's it's hilarious. So if you've not seen that one, I would definitely check that one out. Number eight. Speaking of movies about making movies, it's Terra Firmer. Still waiting on this one to come to Blu-ray. Maybe one day it will. Number seven. Cannibal the Musical. I'm not a South Park fan, and I'm not really a musical fan. But that being said, I still like this one a whole lot. So if you like off-the-wall stuff with a couple of songs thrown in, Cannibal the Musical is for you. Number six, it is The Children. Very atmospheric, very moody. Great blue right here from Vinegar Syndrome. I got rid of the uh, DVD after I got this to save some room. But if you like creepy kid movies, this might be one of the quintessential ones. Number five, it is... Mother's Day. This is, of course, was well, has trauma uh, plastered on it. The old Anchor Bay Blu-ray. Uh, this movie here, is, it's just a whole lot of fun. So if you like crazy family movies, that but well, the family's crazy, not for your family, of course, then Mother's Day is probably the way to go. I actually have some relatives that probably look like that, to be honest with you. Number four, moving along, it is Poultry Geist. This is another musical, believe it or not. Uh, but it's done right, and it's so outrageous about zombie chickens and fast food, and one of the very first trauma movies I actually bought back in the day. Of course, it was a DVD version then, and it just stuck with me, and I still like it to this day. Very over the top, very gory and gross at times, and I kind of like that. I think that kind of represents trauma to the T. Number three, it is Old School Toxic Avenger. Number one. Now, I only really like one, and I like four. Two and three ain't really my thing. But this one, you know, I could have probably threw this in the slasher list if I wanted to because there's a whole lot of slash in here, even if it is a good guy doing the slashing. So, Toxic Avenger at number three. Number two, it is the ever lovely titled The Taint. Male enhancement gone wrong. Next thing you know, they're trying to kill women with their dongs hanging out. If you've not seen this one, definitely seek this one out. This is probably one of the best indie films of the past decade. Or whatever decade it come out. I've kind of lost track of it. I think it's been almost 10 years. I think it was 2013 or something like that when this came out. So if you've not seen that one, definitely seek that one out. And if you know me, number one should be no surprise. Favorite trauma movie of all time. It's Father's Day. Over the top, gory, hilarious. Very clever. Used the whole Grindhouse thing. Probably better than Grindhouse did itself. Um, it's a shame we never got the actual documentary about this. I hope one day it sees the light of day. But... We do have the movie and this awesome four disc set. I remember I could not wait to get my hands on this because I love that movie so much. I actually own several other copies of this movie because I like it so much. But Astron 6, I've heard they're not going to make any more movies. And if they ain't, that's a shame. But at least we got this all-time classic of Father's Day. So what do you think? There's my top ten trauma picks. What are yours?